of Los Angeles. They say that trust was certainly broken when not only did he engage in what he called a scheme, a, 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 a corruption scheme, but he was also the architect of that corruption scheme that saw at least more than a million dollars funneled into uh, Weezar's personal uh, funds and apparently laundered, according to the judge, by his mother and brother, uh, who also, uh, brother will also face some criminal charges as well. Only one person, though, so far has been uh, so far uh, found guilty in the case, and that was uh, one of the developers accused of uh, part, being part of this scheme, Mr. Lee. Uh, that man was sentenced to six years in prison. The judge saying a short time ago that uh, Mr. Weezer deserved at least double that. That is what the uh, state and the prosecution had been asking for 13 years. Uh, Mr. Weezer's attorney had been asking for only nine years in prison, uh, citing all of the efforts that he has uh, undergone over the course of his time as a public servant here in the city of Los Angeles, uh, city councilor, and then before that serving in the uh, uh, the school uh, public school boards. Uh, the judge took that into account, but they said uh, up mostly important was the trust that was put into uh, Mr. Weezar as a public official and the fact that that trust was broken in such an egregious way uh, deserve the sentence that he handed down uh, today, 13 years. Also uh, ordering Mr. Weezer to pay restitution starting today, $38,000 to the IRS and $50,000 as well as part of the restitution uh, that he would be paying right now. There, wh I, when I left the courtroom, that, w that sentencing was still happening, so there could be more to it. We're going to keep a close eye, certainly, to figure out exactly uh, what the full sentence was, but that's the latest coming down from the courtroom as of about five, six minutes ago. Back to you, guys. Carl, you said you were in the courtroom, and you had also mentioned that Weezar and his team, they had asked for nine years. Uh, was there any visible reaction that he had when he was handed down the sentence? I mean, it was fairly, it was, it was quickly, uh, uh, it was pretty obvious uh, once the defense started uh, talking uh, about uh, the sentencing they were hoping for, uh, that the judge wasn't having it. He had heard and read much of the sentencing uh, documents that uh, both sides had already uh, given to the judge, and uh, he wanted the process to move a little faster. Uh, the defense attorney spent uh, more than 30 minutes trying to convince the judge that uh, the nine years was the most appropriate sentence, comparing uh, what Mizar, Mr. Weezer did to other corruption charges across the country. The judge said they don't compare, that the fact that the, the city really entrusted the people, really entrusted so much power in Mr. Weezer, not just the city councilman, but also the chairman of the Plum Department, which is the planning committee uh, in the city of Los Angeles, really the, the man in charge of development in the city of Los Angeles, which controlled millions and millions of dollars uh, in the downtown area, especially his district, but really across the entire uh, city, that that was uh, important because uh, he violated that trust and engaged in what he called really a scheme on, uh, to really defraud uh, the people of Los Angeles and gain money, uh, for personal money for himself and, of course, for his family, he said. Now, we do know that Mr. Weezer addressed the judge prior to the sentencing. It was a very short statement. He simply said, I am sorry to my family. I apologize to the city and I apologize to the people. But he also said, I take full responsibility. The judge took note of that, but he also reminded the courtroom and Mr. Weezer that it took a very long time before Mr. Weezer took responsibility. He denied the charges. He pointed the fingers, the judge said, at other people involved in the enterprise and to the scheme before uh, finally admitting to guilt. Back to you. You know, Mac, um, Weezer has also said publicly many times you know, that he's lost everything. And you'd mentioned that there was restitution. Can you go over those numbers again? Because they were seeking $1.3 million in restitution. What were you hearing before you left the courtroom in terms of what he was actually sentenced for at this point? Right. Today, he's going to be ordered to pay $38,000 to the IRS, which is what he owes, and $50,000 to the city. Uh, that's about all he can probably afford, according to uh, what the judge was talking in terms of the numbers. Most of his assets have been liquidated. Some of that money is going to be going to his family. Uh, the judge is referring to uh, a child that needs some sort of funding for some sort of treatment. That was going to be going uh, to that uh, almost immediately. Uh, but it does look as if the judge realizes Mr. Weezer does not have much more money, and it's unclear exactly how much more that restitution he will have to pay, uh, but he will be serving a long time in prison. He was not fined, by the way, by the judge because he cited the fact that Mr. Weezer did not have a lot of uh, funds in his uh, 
that in, in his uh, accounts that would allow him to pay those fines, uh, but he was sentenced to that very stiff sentence by the judge. All right, Makalo Medina reporting live from downtown L.A. this morning. We appreciate the update, Makalo. And again, a news conference involving the U.S. Attorney's Office, the FBI, the IRS. That is scheduled to start soon. Don't know exactly the time that it's going to start, but once it does, of course, we'll bring that to you live. Live here and also online. Uh, we now return you back to your regular program.